That's right, you're right here in Galaxy 107 FM. I see the water boys been. <laughs> nice, I'm nice. Thirsty, all these tough questions with the hydrate. Yeah, yeah, I can understand you were aging by the year, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, I had to get some water. <laughs> Fair enough, too. Uh, so, uh, having asked you if you want to come down to New Zealand and uh, play, uh, and believe me, I, I think it would warrant actually having you come down here and, and uh, take part in something that we've got coming on uh, in the very near future. Uh, would you be bringing your water boy, for instance? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I'd have to see if that, if that would work out in my, with our schedule, but I would definitely try. Very, very cool. Because believe me, we uh, we emulate the supporters of the artists. We really, really do. Because believe me, if it wasn't for people uh, that support the artists and uh, understand what they do and how hard it is, uh, it, it wouldn't be as easy as what it is sometimes. And, and we kind of feel that you're going to be a huge artist in the very, very near future. Now, uh, have you been to Nashville as of yet? Well, you know, I, I kind of feel it's not going to be too far from now that you're going to end up uh, playing maybe at the Grand Old Opry. That would, that would certainly be a, a, a dream come true. So I, I, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Well, I, I absolutely love the Opry. In fact, uh, uh, I, I, uh, my favourite place at the Opry is that little walkway just behind the curtain. Do you, uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, believe me, when you get there, I recommend you go there, just stand there and feel the ambience and the history of people that have walked that particular little aisle. It is absolutely overwhelming sometimes. It really, really is. I loved it. That's awesome. I'll definitely do that. Absolutely. And believe me, uh, now that I've planted the seed and I know that you're going to make it to the opera in no time at all, uh, you're going to actually do that and you're going to think of me, poor bugger. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that is so pitiful, isn't it? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to do that to you. Uh, or, or the water boy, actually, because I'm sure she'll hear about it later. Uh, now, um, uh, tell me about Perfect Complaint. Uh, yeah, I, I do get that right, don't I? Uh, tell me about Perfect Compliment. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect Compliment. Uh, now, hey, on to something. Perfect Compliment. <laughs> Well, maybe if I... You could write perfect compliment because that's like the honeymoon phase. And then you could write perfect complaint, for like that's like the honeymoon phase. And you could write perfect complaint for like two, three years in, right? <laughs> that actually sounds like a meatloaf song. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just because it was easy to write. 
You know, uh, some of the best songs in the world, and I've heard this from so many big bands around the world, and believe me, I've worked with a number of them. Uh, they say to me, you know, Grant, uh, the best song I ever made was actually on a McDonald's napkin, if you know what I mean. It was done in five minutes. Uh, and I get the feel from this, uh, and believe me, uh, uh, unfortunately, just as of yet, I still am a virgin to hearing it. I, I haven't heard it yet, but I'm absolutely looking forward to it because uh, my uh, production team in, in the other rooms over there uh, are just absolutely lapping your music up. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Here's Perfect Compliment right here at Galaxy 107 FM with, of course, Crossing Avery. I'm starting to get hot. <laughs> oh, honestly, it's getting warm up here because uh, it may be 23, 24 degrees outside, but with all these computers in here and no air conditioning, it's oh, like yeah. another 10 degrees higher, which I think would be up around maybe your 70s. Wow, wow. Yeah, it's about, I would say it's 60 here today. Okay, okay, so it's Six, a, a little cool. It's it's cool but not cold. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Like I'm just wearing a t-shirt and like a thong shirt, and it's perfectly warm. That's cool. That's so, cool. You, you know, um, I, I'm pleased. I I just don't want you to know that I'm sitting here in a pair of speedos. <laughs> Are you not? <laughs> Joke. That'll that'll make the interview even more entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just don't get the DJ to stand up. <laughs> I, I was saying to hey, him, I, I, I'm doing the I'm doing the same. That's why you only have the the chest it, up. <laughs> exactly, absolutely. You know, uh, believe me, the newsreaders and the seats and ties and everything have got boxes on underneath. I think you kind of fit it, flipping. <laughs> I just. <laughs> uh, but I was talking to another guy this morning, uh, Tommy Steele, and uh, we were saying that right now he's actually showing me uh, around his property with a bit of uh, snow and ice and everything there, and uh, I went, oh, that's bloody cold. He says, well, the only good time is at Christmas time, and I said, yeah, I get that, I really, really do, but for us, we go to the beach. I said, yeah. there's a fine line That's between, crazy. I said to him, there's a fine line between togs, togs, undies, undies. Yeah. It just depends That's how crazy. close, yeah, it just depends how close to the beach or how far away from the beach one or the other could be. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. We have, well, in North Carolina, you know, we've got the mountains on one side and then we've got the beaches on the other, so... But our beaches, I mean, you know, from the pictures I've seen, don't compare to y'all's beaches, but it's still nice. Nice, nice. Well, i tell you what, we'll show you around some of the beaches here in New Zealand. You will love it. You really will. Let's go back to the desk. Taking down the Marlborough Sound. Yeah. Yeah. Down this boat to Catherine. Down to the That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. I'm joined by Jeremy Autry from the band, of course, Crossing Avery. And uh, absolute pleasure to be able to talk to this young man and get an insight into uh, uh, where he is, where he's going, and what he plans for his future. Now, I, I've got to ask you, uh, uh, though, even though we're looking at getting you down here, down under, would you uh, uh, want to drop on by Australia as well? Should we make some money out of them? I love taking their money. Spot first and just come 
Well, no, no, no. What I'm telling you is come here first. Get to know what the royalties and everything are like here. Uh, and believe me, it's the cream of the crop here. Uh, and then we'll show you what could have been. <laughs> what could have been? Uh? We'll make it the what could have been <laughs> to it, yeah. <laughs> we'll take you around about six places <laughs> in Australia. <laughs> we'll take you around about six places <laughs> in Australia. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll do a few shows over there and just make sure that they know what could have been. What do you reckon? Hey, that'd be perfect. That'd be awesome. All right, I like that idea. Because believe me, uh, we'll get some money out of them. I like taking their money as much as anybody else's. So, uh, yeah, we'll get some money out of them. Don't worry about that. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I think it'll be an absolute pleasure to be able to uh, show you not only around New Zealand, but also Australia. Uh, and uh, weirdly enough, and I found this out not so long ago, that uh, uh, New Zealand is part of a continental shelf, which actually uh, connects to Tasmania, which doesn't actually connect to Australia. Now, Australia's been claiming it since the year dot. Well, I think we should have back taxes on that. Yeah, absolutely, it's ours. We're, go we're going to claim it back and we want to be back paid on that because uh, Australia's abused it anyway. So uh, <laughs> we'll take it off them and uh, claim it back. Hey, that sounds like good accounting. Oh, absolutely. I, th I think it's absolutely perfect and I want at least a dollar for every year that they've been taking taxes off it. Uh, well, actually every day. What do you reckon? We'll take it a dollar a day, yeah. That's better, yep. And believe me, uh, I don't think their Prime Minister will like me at all. But never mind, I'm, a, I'm not Australian. <laughs> uh, we, we like having fun with them. Uh, but having said that though, uh, we were talking about uh, rugby before and uh, I was uh, uh, quite amused that actually you knew uh, about rugby in New Zealand and the All Blacks and of course uh, uh, the Wallabies over there that are never going to be good football players anyway. Of course, uh, they have also have another game called Aussie Rules. Now, if you can figure that one out, you'll figure out Australia altogether. You know what I mean? That's their mentality, I'm sure of it. Uh, <laughs> uh, and they do really, really weird things over there. They throw sticks and expect them to come back to them. I've heard that. I've heard that. You know, you know what you call a, uh, you know what you call a boomerang that doesn't come back, don't you? Tell me. A damn stick. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, in the meantime, it is 8 away from 12 o'clock and uh, 23 degrees. That's our high right now. Monday, March 19th, and I'm joined by Jeremy Autry. And it's an absolute pleasure talking to one young man that I know is going to be a superstar in the very, very near future. Now, I've got to ask you, Jeremy, let's set the scene. Uh, the band's playing, crowds out there, lighting's up, smoke machines are going, everything like that. Uh, everything, the atmosphere is getting bigger and bigger by the minute. Uh, just before you go out on stage, do you get the butterflies? Um, I think that the, the more people and the, you know, that are there, um, the better energy that you get. I mean, you want to put on the best show you can regardless of how large or small the crowd is because it may be the only time that person ever has an opinion of you um, and gets to hear your music live. But obviously, the more people and, and in that environment, you get really excited. And of course, you have butterflies. If, if, you're, if you don't, you're not. Uh, I don't think you're living or you're not doing it right. Because uh, it's a blessing every day to get to do what we do. And, uh, you know, to get to play music uh, for people and them actually listen to it is just uh, it's the biggest blessing I think there is. That is a good answer. It really, really is. Because believe me, uh, I'm comfortable in front of 10,000, 110, 150,000. No worries. Uh, it's just a room full of 10 that really freaks me out, to be quite honest. <laughs> yeah, I can, be, I can be goofy in front of one person or a lot of people. They're going to think I'm goofy regardless. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's cool. That really, really is cool. Uh, now, I've got to ask you too. Um, and this is uh, something one of the fans wanted to know, is uh, what are your influences? Where did your music style come from? I think, um, you know, I love all artists. Um, Johnny Cash, I love listening to his stuff, but I also love listening to bands. 
bands like uh, Goo Goo Dolls, and you mentioned, uh, you know, Creed's lead singer, um, you know, they, their style, uh, I love all styles of music, and I think, um, you know, in, in writing, you kind of have an opportunity to think of different styles and incorporate that, you know, it, it puts together kind of a unique uh, EP, I, I, I hope. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm kind of, and believe me, I am very excited about this because uh, I know you're going to send us some that we can do some giveaways with. Uh, uh, but, you know, I, I'm really, really looking forward to the upcoming stuff that's coming out. And uh, that's a damn good segue to be able to get into saying uh, when you do have some brand spanking new stuff that you want to be able to release, what say you release it with us here at Galaxy 107 FM? And we'd love to be able to do a premiere with you, much like what we're doing, maybe a little shorter. We talk about the particular song. Uh, but believe me, we would love to be able to uh, assist in some way and be able to do that with you. Well, at the same time, and I don't know whether Barbara's spoken to you about this or not, uh, because uh, uh, one of the first things I say to Barbara, and uh, this is quite true too, uh, we get about 30 to 50 bands a day that want to uh, be promoted uh, and have the interview, much like what we're doing at the moment, uh, and go on further than that. And uh, out of that per week, we may interview maybe about three. So it's a very selective group, if you know what I mean. And it comes from Barbara to... Uh, to the engineers and then it goes to a board and comes back to Barbara and engineers and then I have the final say before we go any further. Uh, so it is quite a compliment, uh, compliment uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> now she pulls faces right when I didn't need it, right? It is quite, uh, a, yeah exactly, it's a process, right? And uh, it's not an easy one to get through. Uh, but having said that, um, we would love to be able to get behind you. Now, I'm not sure whether Barbara has spoken to you about this or not. Uh, have you heard of Crank It Up magazine? Uh, no, I have not. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I lost you all the way through that, I know. Uh, because right when I was about to use a complicated word, Barbara pulls a face on me, like she does, just to test out whether I'm professional or not. Uh, I blew it that time for the first time in a long time, actually. <laughs> now, uh, the Crank It Up magazine is a partner of ours here at Galaxy 107 FM, coming out of Pennsylvania. Now, uh, they have basically about, yeah, just on about 3 million subscribers at the moment, but it's forever climbing, and within there, there are managers, there are promoters, there are all sorts of people that follow bands and other segments in that magazine. Uh, but one particular part I want to be able to put you into is a place called Indie Garage. Now, that's being recorded, uh, I think they've done about six out of the series at the moment, that is going to Fox Television, which is going to be viewed uh, pretty much by everybody in America. 105 million people at the moment is the count they're expecting to watch this. So uh, we would like to be able to uh, get you into the next series of that, if you know what I mean. Uh, would you be up for a bit of that? Nice, because uh, we would love to be able to get you into the magazine. I'm not quite sure. Uh, you see, John Rain, the man who owns it, actually makes movies. And uh, he, he makes movies for Warner Brothers and uh, uh, Universal Studios, also in Bollywood, and is a very close friend of Quentin Tarantino's. So uh, he's a very, very busy man. But uh, he's just undergoing a number of movies at the moment and then getting back into uh, reproducing this magazine of his. And we would love to be able to have you in there if, if that's good with you uh, because believe me any promotion is good promotion I think anyway hey I would, I would be thrilled <laughs> be nice nice so uh, uh, I'll, work, I'll let Barbara and you communicate over that one at the same time she also is the manager of the entertainment department which brings bands into the country so uh, uh, I know that you're going to be talking very very closely in the very near future about doing something there uh, at the same time have you ever heard of uh, Lord of the Rings yes right well you know something uh, we're currently looking at a patch of land where to be able to have a festival of our own very very shortly uh, just moments away from there. In fact, uh, where we are right now, we're about an hour and a half, maybe two hours mm. away from uh, Hobbitville. Yeah. Would you like to go and have a look at it? I would love to look at it. 
Nice, nice. And then afterwards we'll take you down and show you the Hobbitville as well. What do you reckon? <laughs> nice, uh, because believe me, uh, it is quite an attraction and we are very, very close. So we would love to be able to show you around uh, a few of the more quirkier things that we have here in New Zealand as well. So, uh, we've done it all. Yeah, yeah, we have. Uh, we've, we've actually cut through pretty much all of your songs, uh, but I didn't realise that. So you know something, I'm going to actually go in and find another one of yours that I was interested in that the engineer did not put in, and believe me bro, I absolutely love this song and it was called Half Past. Now, I want you to tell me all about Half Past. Uh, yeah, it's just a, a song, you know, um, it's off our album that's currently out, and uh, it's just talking about a time, you know, originally I wrote the song um, about <clears throat> looking back and just being frustrated, you know, at a certain point in your life when you're kind of down and you feel like giving up, um, you know, and then I, I kind of went back and rewrote it, a, a newer version of it, um, from a different perspective, from a guy, you know, who's going through a breakup. So there, there's actually two versions of that, um, you know, and uh, just kind of going back to what you're saying, so you said that Barbara does a lot of that stuff, so what kind of flowers and chocolates does Barbara like? All of them. <laughs> she's uh, appar yeah, apparently send, apparently she's a big fan of money. Got... Roses. Okay. Uh, I don't know if y'all got funky in the country. Uh, it's our title track off our new EP. But if you didn't, I'll send it to you guys soon. Yeah, do that. Please do that because no, we don't have it there. Uh, but. Uh, I, the reason why I'm playing Half Past, and I've I got to be honest with you, it was the very first song I heard of yours, and I absolutely got hooked in straight away. So uh, the engineer, knowing this, and knowing that we only have an hour to be able to do an interview, and we've actually gone over time, and I'm being greedy now. Yes, the producer's having a go at me in my ear. <laughs> I'm being greedy now. But the thing is that I absolutely love this song. Uh, and to answer you, all of the chocolates, all of the flowers, and she's a huge fan of money. <laughs> I'll start saving up. You, you do that. You do that. You do. You know, uh, greenbacks, right? Was it, is that what you're saying, greenbacks? Perfume. Perfume. Perfume? Yeah. I can't go 50% in perfume, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> We have a deal, you see. Any gifts that come in, we go 50%. It's really hard to cut up a cat. I gotcha, I gotcha. You know? <laughs> but perfume? Nah. Uh, yeah, apparently perfume. <laughs> uh, she's a girly girl. And of course, you know, uh, when you're with us down here, down under, uh, and you're bringing your water boy with you, I'm sure Barbara and the water boy will be off shopping while we're off getting arrested or something. <laughs> that's right, that's right. She thought I'd forgotten, hadn't she? <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> ah, no, 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 never, 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 never. Anyway, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Here is, of course, Crossing Avery in Half Past. Right. So, we'll come out from here and do an X-ray to it. And I've really got to thank you for being with us today. It's been an absolute blast. Well, thank you, too. And I've got to thank you, Gran. you got to thank yeah. me? Yeah. Why do you have to thank I me? I just do. You do? you thank got to you. thank me? Yeah. Holy hell. <laughs> There's a first. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean. Do you? Do, you? do I? Do you? Do I, okay. so. I do. God, I feel like I'm getting married now. I do. <laughs> um, Jeremy... <laughs> What we do after we do the extras, um, don't go anywhere because I know Barbara and she's going to want you to do a couple of things. Um, what I am going to ask of you is the next time you're in the recording studio, how would you like to do a couple of uh, voiceovers for us or stingers or donuts, if, if you will? Um, where it's like, um, ba basically it's, hi, Jeremy Audrey from Crossing Avery. You're listening to 
Country Rock Sunday on Galaxy 107 FM or something like that. You know what I mean? Oh, Galaxy. Or DJ Great. Uh, and I would be happy to get the engineers to add it in so that we're playing you all the time. It's, it's, I want to keep Crossing Avery going as much as I can. You know what I mean? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I gotta be honest, my friend, you've made a fan out of me and I love it. <laughs> well, hey, you know, I, I was a fan when you first uh, were gonna have me on, and I was pretty fun. So thank you all so much, for real. Nice. And uh, it went quick. I really appreciate it. And I send you, I'll make sure you get that other song. I apologize. Yeah, please, please, because I would love to have it. Um, just to let you know, uh, 6,294,000. It's gone up. Wow. It's gone up a bit. It is. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Of course, when you see the video, you only see four numbers. That's because we got rid of the zeros. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it really was. I mean, it was going across the screen. It was like, oh, nah. Oh, Let's give it away. Too many zeros. Too many zeros. The only time you want to see too many zeros is at your bank account. Yeah. And then so. you start asking the bank manager, have you made a mistake? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, quick so, we'll extra this, and then we'll go back to Studio 2. Okay. That's right. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and of course that was craving, <laughs> craving, crossing Avery. Where did I? Uh, craving Strange is a band that we interviewed not so long ago. Cro uh, crossing Avery, and of course how fast. Uh, that was the very first song that I ever heard of uh, Crossing Avery, and believe me, fell in love with the band straight away and wanted to know more. Uh, at the same time, uh, I, I got to say uh, thank you very, very much for uh, taking the time out today to come and join us here in uh, New Zealand and uh, talk a little bit about your music, uh, get to know a little bit about you. And I would love to uh, be able to welcome you into the Galaxy family right here at Galaxy. So anytime you feel like a chat, let us know and we would love to be able to uh, catch up in the future. And of course, always looking forward to a bit of new work coming out of you so that we can keep Crossing Avery going here at Galaxy. Well, I, I tell you what, uh, Jeremy, to be quite honest with you, uh, I kind of feel that you're going to be around uh, with longevity. You're going to be one of the greats in the business, and, and what a way to kick it off uh, is start with me, and I feel sorry for you for that, 
Uh, but believe me, I don't think you'll ever forget it again uh, or, or ever get one like uh, me again. So uh, enjoy what you're doing. Don't change a thing. Believe me, you're on a winning streak and I know you're going to be very big very soon and on that grand old Opry stage. So you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. It is 9 after 12 o'clock. Yes, I know I've gone over time. 24 minutes, uh, 24 degrees downtown. It is Monday, March 19th. Are we going over our high by a degree? Well done. You're right here at Galaxy.